am Noah Temple, and I'm the producer of Dark Forest, the new film by Paul Emmett. Dark Forest follows, in a lot of ways, Dante's Inferno, the story of a character who travels through hell looking for his lost love interest. All right, action. Frank Bruckner is a highly professional and mature actor. He was constantly looking to find that deeper right, meaning in his character. Where's my truck? Sorry? Where is my truck? I left it right here. It's gone. Where is it? What lives in these woods? It can be pretty tough on the actors when we're out in the woods for eight plus hours and they have to jump around and roll on the grounds, but these things all lead to a lot of pressure on the actors. Nothing at the JCC is more talked about than me growing a beard. It's, it's important to have someone who's gonna be making jokes and keeping everyone loose on set, and we definitely had that with Eddie first. Man. Hey, Eddie, you hear that? What? He gave, Paul just gave your fire a four out of 10. Why? <laughs> I gave it an 8.5. Wait, who, who so gave, gave it a four out of 10? The director. Why? <laughs> How can I make it better? It's always room for, you know. Well, no, I, I understand there's always room for improvement, but four out of 10 is a lot of room for improvement. I need more orange. You need more orange? See, yeah. that's a direction. I can, I can, I can <laughs> run with that. Yeah. I, I need a deer head on fire. Paul Emmett, the writer-director of this film, I see as a creative and artistic genius. Every single shot, every single frame concerns Paul. Paul very focused on pulling off a realistic look. Worked closely with our practical effects team led by Steve Satter as she delivered 100%. I'm going to do a little bit of purple around the eyes and the deepest spots of the temples and the cheeks. Sarah Murphy was the exceptionally beautiful and talented actress playing Beatrice. She has had to deal with a lot of the wear and tear of makeup and put in I mean, the hours and hours of work to create the looks of her character. What our film also goes into is the fact that living in the past can make it so that the future will not be so sweet and that you never will find anything new. And in that past, you will find many real monsters. Hello, can you help me? That's why I'm here, Dan. Who are you? I'm Virgil, I'm the caretaker of the cabin. Feels like Luckily, I did not have to be in charge of anybody. Josiah Granfield, our amazing AD, took care of most of that, keeping everyone in line. Action. A big part of Paul's vision is in the intensity of being chased in the dark in the woods. To give the film a professional look, Kate was really keen on having a long, steady dolly shot that would cut through the trees while following Frank running. Of course, using a dolly requires laying a lot of track on uneven ground that can end up being a real pain. Of course, I didn't think of that when I told Paul we could make it happen, but our grips Kelly, Annie, and Logan Kerrigan got down in the snow and leveled the frozen ground out so we could get the track Annie, in there well, and make sure the camera wasn't going to fall off of the dolly so we could get our shots. We had steady cam shots where we had okay. some of those scenes could be operated by Kate Wurzbacher, our DP, but then we had other ones that were much more long and she had an injured shoulder, so we had to bring in our gaffer to do our steady cam, Andy Hoffman, who was amazing in his own right, so we were able to pull off a lot of great shots with that. Not even mentioning the, the fog, wind, and uh, your, your sound to be able to not hear any of this all this machinery clanking around, you know, it takes a lot of time. You have to really have a sound guy that's going to be able to meticulously listen and be ready to call out when he needs to take another take. And we really had that with Charles Burreal, who was a constant asset on the set. I came here for my wife. When you run into a lot of problems on set, uh, you're going to have to have a camera crew that can manage those in a Good. quick and efficient manner. Uh, and Kate Wurzbacher and Joe Lee were just that. Uh, Joe able to almost read Kate's mind with what needed to be done at times and Kate being able to communicate everything to the other people. 
the setting and the gung ho nature of our whole crew and cast really made it uh, on a whole a very positive experience, except for my maybe one or two freakouts. It's rolling over. Yep. <laughs> Where to put a music video? Black we'll make swan. <laughs> Not with the mat box. Go frolic. You don't get the frolic with the mat box. Yeah, frolic, everybody. Fro Joe, Joe frolic. Frolicking? Yes, I love frolic. frolic. Yeah, on the whole, it's uh, everyone really worked well together. Being out there uh, in the woods was just a lot of fun. I think everyone had a great time. Thanks for watching this behind the scenes featurette on Dark Forest. We hope you enjoy the film and don't get too scared.